It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Stroud Brewery. It's a bottle of their vintage ale, Maris Otter 2013. Now I know Stroud Brewery are near one of the big maltings in Gloucestershire. And they specifically went for this Maris Otter, this really good quality malt for this organic and vegan ale. And I know they're very proud of it. Um, I've waited a while, I wanted to kind of age this one a little bit because it is a strong ale at 7.5% ABV and I just wanted to see how the malts, the yeast and the hops react over a bit of time with this beer. So let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oi. Nice bit of smoke and a nice little bit of an overpour there. Overpour? What am I talking about? Beer was a bit lively, should I say. So, Maris Otter, beer in the glass. A nice, slightly hazy one finger head. Nice levels of carbonation. <coughs> Pardon me. Amber in colour. Let's get the aroma. Very malty beer then. Biscuity, bready, a little bit spicy. Let's dive in, cheers. Definite kind of barley wine qualities to, with this beer. Very sweet, biscuity, nice mouthfeel, nicely carbonated. It's a tough one. When you normally brew a beer with Maris Otter, they normally come in in the UK traditionally between 3.8% ABV and about 5.5% ABV. And they're just so lovely and sessionable. I still love a traditional pint of Best Bitter if it's done properly, if it's done right, from a microbrewery. I think when you get this, this style and you up it to 7.5% ABV, you're taking it away from that kind of sessionable strength, you're, you're taking it into a different area, a slightly different style. And I wonder if they put this on tap, on cask or keg, how many people would bite to it at 7.5% ABV. You're not going to sit there and drink pint after pint of it because you'd be in, you'd be a drooling mess. And I think it's also a beer where if you've had a few and you want to finish up on something a little bit stronger, you might go for something hoppy, you might go with an imperial stout. It's a lovely beer, but I just wonder where it fits in terms of sales, in terms of who will actually kind of bite to this ABV of 7.5%. Back to flavour. It's unoffensive, it's, it's, it's just a very, very malty, biscuity, bready brew. The malts shine in the beer, and I think that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to make these malts shine, the quality of the beer shine. It's done that, but then you're kind of wondering, yes, it's a little bit bitter on the back end, it's nice and sweet and balanced and malty. You're almost wanting something else, especially for the strength of the beer. So, there's not really a, a lot more I can talk about with this beer then. Uh, Manus Otis Barley was bred by Dr. G. D. H. Bell in the mid-1950s to brew traditional cask-conditioned ales and has become acknowledged as the finest brewing malt in the world. This characterful pale ale has been brewed using only 2013 vintage organic Maris Otter Barley and English organic first gold hops. Yeah, it's not going to blow your socks off, and that's just my honest opinion. Maris Otter. 
I think styles have changed. Styles have evolved. And although it's a good ale, for me it's a struggle. It's a struggle to fit fit it somewhere. Get people to really kind of be massively interested in this beer. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.